up all night. I'm tired. I slept a little bit. He slept a lot of bit. Okay. <laughs> the minute I laid down, you were snoring so loud. I was like, oh. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. The pole is there though. I don't like that Karen character. Okay, you guys are propped up against the GoPro. <laughs> I mean, I think it's, right now I've got the GoPro doing a time lapse. It's overcast. I don't think the time lapse is gonna turn out very good, but if it does, I'll share it with you. I don't really know what I wanna talk about today. I'm kinda tired. I got the zoo visit posted yesterday. No, this morning. When did I get it posted? Oh my gosh, I can't even remember. I haven't distributed the video yet. Usually I distribute it amongst the social media. I appreciate those of you who do watch my videos. I understand that everybody's got only so much time in their day and you might not want to waste your time watching my stuff. I get that. I'm the same way. I follow a lot of people on YouTube, but there's no way I can watch every single video as much as I would like to. I just don't have time. It's no diss on anyone because if I'm following you, I'm following you for a reason. But if I don't get your video watched, it doesn't mean anything except I don't have any time. Anyway, I'm so tired today. I don't even know what I'm saying. We have started walking in the morning and in the evening as well so all told we're walking about i don't know just well all told we're walking about six miles a day i don't feel like that's a lot but it's a start what's happened is my vision is getting really bad and i'm starting to get worried again about it I was doing a little bit more research about the IIH. I had read about it already. Some of the things that could go wrong with my vision and that one day I could have permanent vision loss. I knew that already a long time ago. It was part of the reason why I freaked out and went to the doctor the one time that I've been with this situation. And I haven't been back since because it's extremely expensive. I was trying to manage things on my own. Towards the end of last year, a lot of things were going wrong. Mostly emotional stuff, just a lot of stuff to deal with. I wasn't taking care of my health. I just kind of gave up. And I don't want to say I took my vision for granted because I don't. I just think that I got kind of so down that I just didn't care anymore. So now I'm starting to have more frequent vision loss than I had during the summer last year. Last year I was doing pretty good. When I was in Malaysia, I could see really well. I didn't have that much problem. And part of that was probably because it was so humid there, you sweat off all of your fluids. <laughs> you just sweat them off. And I think it reduced the swelling behind my eyes. And then I was able to see pretty well when I was there. I'd also dropped about 10 pounds when I was in Malaysia. I think both of those things have a lot to do with it. The other day I sort of had a mental breakdown. You guys wouldn't know it because I didn't tell you, but one of those days I just had a complete breakdown. I was just freaking completely out because I thought now is the time I have to think about not driving anymore 
and just not being able to see anymore. Yeah, I, I was not dealing with that well. And I cried most of the night. Normally I don't break down like that, but this time I did. I was crying all night long. And the next day I just decided to suck it up and fix it. <laughs> One way or the other I have to fix it. I know I told you guys that I was gonna do some intense exercise and get my health back that way. It was sort of becoming a choice between exercising like that and my vision. Because when I exercise hard like that, my vision goes. It just, I get too much pressure in my head and I can't see halfway through the workout and I'm just kind of uh, doing it by memory. When I was rereading the research, <laughs> again, I it kind of hit home that I can't be that stubborn and I can't do that. So luckily with Fargo's support, I don't want to cry about it, but luckily with his support, we have decided to exercise a little bit less intense for now until I can get a handle on this situation again and try to let go of those things that upset me last year. One of the things that worked really well before that was helping a lot with my vision before was walking. And I don't want to say that my vision got better overnight, but after I lost a lot of weight, as I was losing the weight, I had days where I could see longer throughout the day. I didn't have as many episodes of my vision going away. Part of the reason why I was getting so frustrated was because I hadn't really told Fargo the problems that I was having and I felt like he should know. <laughs> it's like, what a big mistake. I should have communicated with him better about what was going on because I, I found myself snapping at him and getting angry because he didn't understand that I could not see as well and that I was needing a little bit of extra help and I, I didn't really communicate that to him. I probably should have a lot sooner instead of acting like I'm a tough guy and my pride getting in the way and thinking that, no, I got this. I can do insanity. I can do P90X and no problem. Well, it is a problem <laughs> because every time we were doing those workouts that you see in those videos, I was going blind all the way through the whole thing and hiding it and pretending like everything was fine. It wasn't fine. It's not a good idea to pretend like that because I could actually go blind doing things like that. I'm getting my head out of you know what and <laughs> I'm letting go of a lot of things that have bothered me and trying to move forward. I don't like doing serious vlogs but that's what's been on my mind for the past week or so. I guess I was kind of feeling like a failure because I wasn't completing insanity like I had wanted to and I didn't want to admit it so I was going to just keep going but I, I don't think that I can do it that way. I will come back to it that's for sure because it's my nemesis and I need to complete it. I'm determined. I am stubborn in that way and definitely to a fault because I can't lose my vision over my stubbornness. That's ridiculous. Who does that? Oh, I was actually looking at getting a sauna suit to help shed water weight because one of the things that you do when you have IIH, they put you on Diamox. Diamox is a diuretic and it takes so much water out of your system that you kind of shrink just from desiccation, I guess, <laughs> losing water, but it works. You can see better. It reduces the swelling in your head, takes away the excess spinal fluid in your head, and you can see better. I can't afford Diamox, and I don't think I would take it even if I could. Diamox is horrible. It makes you feel sick all the time. Things don't taste right anymore. You can't eat and drink the same things. It just, I, I felt horrible when I was on Diamox. A couple of good things that happened from it was that I actually lost weight because water weight and I could see better. So it does work. I'm not going to deny it. It does work. It just makes you feel like 
crap if I'm gonna be honest <laughs> sorry I'm sorry that's so crude but it's true I don't want to take that anymore and uh, I need to find another way to deal with it I've got to get a handle on my emotions I'm terrible at this I pin it all up inside and I eat a bunch of crap to make myself feel better and it's so detrimental it's damaging Sometimes I don't even know how to deal with it, but one of the things that I have overlooked is that I do have more support than I thought I did. Getting all choked up about stuff. Just having the illness itself, you feel alone because nobody really understands what it's like, but you can find ways to communicate with people that do care and maybe not get so what's the word is it fatalistic I don't know there's a word for it <laughs> where you go around um, you go around sighing and complaining but not really um, saying what it is that's bothering you sometimes I was doing that sort of hinting at what was wrong instead of just coming out and saying it I think it's probably more beneficial to just come out and say it and then let the chips fall where they may. So we're walking six miles a day, morning and in the evening. I think we will probably walk even if it rains, but if there's lightning bolts coming down, probably I won't be walking, but I might be filming it on the GoPro. <laughs> there's always a silver lining, people. I guess the takeaway from all of this is you know how they always say communication is key it's really true especially if you're dealing with family members or people that say they care about you I mean if they say they do they probably do anyway I probably should go I don't want to depress anybody but this is the vlog and this is one of those days okay guys I hope you all are having a great day or night or whatever it is wherever you are I hope it's a good one Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing. You guys take care out there and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't you want to party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Everybody's carefree. Everybody's carefree. Don't you want to party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Don't you want to party? Don't you want to party? Staying out all night.